Hey YouTube, um, I uh, <laughs> I just did an unboxing of the Rat Pro X that came today. You guys know that I've been a uh, uh, I was a contest winner of this mouse, and I've been really excited to get my hands on it. Uh, there was a, a little bit of a delay there, um, and today is um, September 16th. I just looked on YouTube. This is going to be the first unboxing ever of the Rat Pro X. Um, and so here we go. Uh, now, you're not going to see it in the damn box, because as I was doing it, I pressed the space bar, it stopped the video, and I have to redo it. So... Anyway, here's the box. Woohoo! I opened it. Um, I took it out of its packaging. It came in really good bubble wrap, and I was going over the features in the, on the box to show you guys. But anyway, all right. So here it is. The Rat Pro X. Uh, this is the Philips Twin Eye Laser. I picked that because I've never had a problem with that um, with that sensor at all. None, zero. And um, so we're going to go over a few features here. Um, I'm going to show you the front, the, the top here of it. Um, see if I can get that in for you. This is a CES winner, in Innovation uh, Tech Radar says groundbreaking. Hexus is the world's most adjustable mouse. Um, again, 8200 DPI here. <laughs> And uh, I'm not going to run it at that. I'm I run my MMO7 at 6400 DPI. So uh, we're going to go over some of the features here. I'm going to show you the technical specs on the box. This is a really nice box, Mad Cats. You did good on this. I like the 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 display. I like the way it looks. I can't wait to get it out of the box. But anyway, here we go. Technical specs first. Let's see, Philips PLN 2037 Twin Eye Laser. Again, I've never had a problem with this laser. I love it. DPI range, 100 to 8200. I will not run it at 8200. I mean, I'll try it. I don't know if that's going to do good. Acceleration, 50G, USB re report rate. You know, you can see all those up to 1,000 hertz. Um, tracking speed, uh, left and right mouse button up to 20 million clicks. I don't know what the tracking speed is for. I'm not, you know... And the weight, 110 grams without the cable. Um, so that that that's cool. Um, future proof via hot swappable sensors right there. Boom. Ultimate gaming mouse for the PC. And it says it in a couple of other languages. I am not bilingual by any means, but awesome. And so we're going to go over to here. This is the... Uh, innovation of the new scroll wheel. Actually, this is all the stuff it says. Um, reinventing the scroll, scroll wheel. Analog strafe arm enables greater in-game control. Um, in-game... Oh, that's like different. Uh, there's the, what the scroll wheel looks like. That's all the parts. Choose from three different wheels, of course. I have not opened the box. I don't know what kind of wheels come with. Uh, hot swappable uh, sensors. Uh, available separately, you get one to choose from when you do this. Uh, adjust the scroll wheel's force, which is cool. Um, let's see, and so that's that side, and we went through this side. I love their logo, I do. And the back. The back shows you like all the little different parts you get. And um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, all about the game, Mad Cats. You guys had me, um, Mad Cats, you guys had me... Um, you already have me wowed and I haven't even gotten out of the box. <laughs> and being that this is a $200 mouse, I'm, I'm, I'm from the United States. That's why it took a little bit longer for me to get it. But, uh, but, uh, that's, that's a, um, it, it, it it's a, it's a not, I'm not going to say it, it's not normal because that's not what I mean. It's not what I mean. It's a little bit more... Um, on the pricier side when it comes to a gaming peripheral than like other brands, but, but, they don't have this stuff. They don't have the, the, the scroll wheel. They don't have interchangeable sensors. Yeah, someone can say, well, I can save $50. I mean, all, all gaming, um, companies that I've, that I, that I've had, I've had Mad Cats, of course, 
uh, Corsair. I haven't had a Corsair mouse yet, but I've had Corsair stuff, um, uh, Glorious PC Gaming Race stuff, as you saw in my last video. Uh, and they're they're all good. They're all good makers of stuff. Yeah, heck, you, I'll, I'll even throw throw out there to Razer and Logitech and stuff. Um, but anyway, back to this. This is the coolest looking mouse I've I, I've seen. Um, I mean, it makes my it makes my my M07 um, look kind of funky. So I'm gonna figure out how to open this for you guys. I know you're all waiting to see what it comes with and stuff. So I'm trying to pull out the bottom, maybe. Well, I wish they could have given me directions how to open the box. But again, people, I've been up for 20, 24, 25 hours now, going on 26, and so I'm, I'm pretty beat. I had a long day at work. But, um, okay, there's some tape on the bottom. Yeah, I'm using a standard kitchen knife to open shit, stuff. <laughs> stuff I should, shouldn't cuss. Um, now, mind you, I haven't tested this mouse. I will be testing it um, tonight. Hopefully, if I can stay up that late, and I'm gonna see what, you know, what I can do here. All right, so we got this box. It just you 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 cut off the bottom here, tape, and it, it comes right out. So let's toss that over there. And here it is. I can already. Ooh, I like the feel of that. I like the feel of that. I do. Uh, looks a little higher than my MMO7. The the back butt. I call it the back butt. Looks a little higher. Um, well, anyway, so let's see, it has tabs that you pull here, oh, okay, so it has like a, uh, wow, cool, so it has like tabs, I don't know what that, what's in there, uh, that's like a, a bat, a ba um, I think it's a case or something for it, that's really cool, but we'll get to that in a minute, I have no idea what that is, I've never seen that before, I know, I didn't see it at CES, alright, so, oh, well, so when you open it, um, you get it out, you, here, here's your sensor, that's kind of small for a sensor, but um, again, Philips Twin Eye sensor. So when you get this mouse, it's going to come like this. It comes with a little sensor. It's in. It's in here. You pull it off. Little tab. So I'm going to put that down there. Oh, let's see. You pull this up, you, and there, there's like glue stuff. So you like open it. Um, and I'm trying to do this as best as possible. I don't want to ruin this. Um, I'm kind of these weirdos that likes to keep packaging from getting on you and then take it out. So you take it out like that and then undo it. Take the thing out. So there it is. Okay. Well, there, there's what the mouse was saying. You guys are just awesome, Mad Cats. I like how you do this, this, this packaging. Now here's where it comes the tricky part uh, to getting this out of here. Okay. So this uh, like a little. You just kind of flip it up. It's kind of like these little things. And so you, I really don't want to ruin this. I really call this is the coolest mouse ever. So, okay, we're doing it. We're good. We got it. We got it. All right. So then I have these little feeties. Uh, Pro Slide 002. One of the feet that comes with it. Um, I, there's little magnets on the bottom. I don't, I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll see. Let's toss that. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the Rat Pro X. These are ceramic low friction feet. And I'm trying to figure out how to put these on. Oh, okay, so they just kind of go on. Go on like that. <clears throat> there it is, everybody. The Rat Pro X. I can honestly say that this mouse is completely. Oh my gosh. The difference in weight here is phenomenal. This thing is totally light compared to this. Um, so I'm going to take these, I'm going to put this down for a second, let me give you a closer look of it. The Rat Pro X. There's the DPI button there. I don't know if it has a... It looks like it's just going to be a... Um, I know on the Rat 7 you can have, like, you can you can press up and down for screw backward and forward. It looks like it's going to be just a, a normal forward. And then there's the side buttons there. Now this thing can actually come off. I guess you can replace it. Then there's some... That's where the sensor goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is it? One, two, five. One, two, three. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty. Twenty pin for the thing, for the sensor. And so, analog strafe. Wow, it actually does analog. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like the, um, I like the, uh, the, the wheel there. 
actually does a little analog. It doesn't feel like it's going to break, which is cool for me. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to try to get it up here to see what it looks like. Kind of, I've, I'm wanting to do this ever since I saw it. Let's try to get it up, and I don't think I can. I don't, I don't know how to do that yet. Kind of little notch thing. Um, oh, okay. So you kind of have to give it a little bit of pressure to get it up. Uh, if you look inside, you see that there's a uh, a little thing right there that my finger is next to. And if you look down here, there's another one. I don't know if you can see. There we go. And there it is. It's a, it's a magnet, like on the bottom. So when you want to change this out, which you can, you kind of just, you have to kind of press it kind of hard, but press it down, goes right in, analog straight, goes right back in. That's really cool. Um, so my first thoughts, I mean, again, I haven't used this. I, I haven't used it. Um, the, the frame, the exo frame, which is right here. See if I can get that in for you. I don't think it's gonna come in, is it? Get my face out of the way. Come on, dang it! Oh, it's not gonna do it. Why does this thing always do this to me? I don't know why it does that. It's supposed to zoom kind of in on this thing. Yeah. It's kind of shiny too, and that's why it's not. That's why it's kind of hard to get. There it goes. Uh, Exo frame. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, it's really light. It's really, really light. It really is. Uh, I can see this being for those who like light mice. Um, I am not a a fan. Um. Well, at least they haven't been uh, of of light mice, but I mean, I am I, I am liking this so far. So let's see. I don't see a tool on the back. Uh, to like the like the like on the back like the um that thing that silver thing. That's that that's the tool. I don't see a tool on the back. I am not seeing any weight system, and I again I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to tell you guys the differences between the new Rat Pro X and and maybe some of the um, other Rat um, lineup mice in there. It's it's a lot lighter than the MMO7. And I, I only have to compare it to that. Uh, I don't see any weight system, and I'm for right now I'm not seeing a way to move this back and forth kind of like you have been, but I know that there's a way to move this thing. Oh, here it goes. You can kind of move it a little bit and kind of get it to go at a certain angle. If you if you, you got to press kind of hard on it, but it'll go back and forth. So all in all, it's good construction. I like what I'm seeing, and I'm gonna get I'm I'm gonna get that sensor out for you guys. I can see myself playing on it. I'm already excited as heck. So the sensor comes in its own little box when you when you get it. You gotta kind of be careful. And there's that's a little tiny thing. <laughs> so as you can see, there's the sensor. There's the uh, twenty where the twenty pins connect into. There's the bottom. Again, this is the Phillips twin eye. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in for you on that. Kind of shiny. It's not going to do it, is it? Damn it! There it goes. All right. Well, that's cool. I don't know what that number is on there. Uh, it's probably like a, oops, I lost it number or something. Now, to change your profiles on the MMO7, you can see that there's a little light face guy. You can't tell it's a face, but it's a little face there. That's how you change the profiles on this. Uh, to change the profiles on the Pro X, um, there's this little button on the bottom, and there's an actually an, an, an indicator somewhere on the bottom here. Uh, let you know what profile it's on. So if you want to change your profile, you have to flip over the mouse and change it with that little greenish button. Uh, some people may say this is yellow. It is not yellow. The I will I, I will say this though as I'm looking at the button here and the back butt of this is 
is greener, I think, than the cord by just a little bit, as well as greener than the bottom too, as well. Um, when I, from what I can tell, I know you guys meant shiny finish here. Interesting. Uh, no button on the side like the uh, MMO7. And there's forward and backward button on this side. Forward, backward, and then there's your um, sniping button, I guess you can say. So I'm going to put the sensor in now. I've never done this before. I'm trying to be very careful considering this is a $200 mouse, <laughs> which, is, which, is, which is awesome in itself. I took the feet off. And I'm going to put those to the side. Now, as you can see, these are where the um, feet go, these little things. Now, there's two little magnets down here, and I'm pretty sure that those go... Yeah, those go with this. So this is also magnetized. I'm pretty sure that it just goes right... No, I didn't put it in right. <laughs> and, of course, the first time I put it in, I put it in freaking completely wrong, I think. I mean, so careful. Why does it want to do that? There we go. There we go. So you kind of have to, kind of have to slide it a little bit, slide it in there, and it's really easy. I thought it was going to be maybe kind of difficult to do, um, but uh, I'm mad cats. If I break this, I'm so sorry. I'm hmm, okay. So you just kind of lift it out. So I don't see these are really really good pins. So let's let's do it together again. Some fail. You kind of, there's like these little notches, as you can see, on the ends. And they kind of go in there. So you kind of like push it in like that. And it goes in and it just snaps in place. Boom, there it is. Uh, no movement, no moving on it. And, oh, okay, so the number on the sensor matches the number on the frame down here. That means that there, that means that this unit came as, as one. Okay. Cool, cool Mad Cats logo on the back, right there, Mad Cats. Uh, so all in all, I can say, and I'm gonna put the feet back on for you guys, because I think these are cool. I'm using ceramic feet. I've never, I've always had Teflon feet, and they've always just, like, they wear out over time, and they get all grungy and stuff, and I just don't want to have that happen. And I'm going to do a shout out. This is going to probably going to be a long video because it's just a, such a cool mouse. Really light. And um, I'm going to do a comparison video. Um, it's not a comparison, but I'm going to compare these. I have the, the Pro X next to the MMO7. And uh, the Pro X, I can already tell I don't like one thing about it. And that's... that's um, that's, I don't have the pinky tray. I call it a pinky tray. I got that from a lady named Lynn. I think her name is. Pretty cool lady on YouTube here. And uh, I, I think it comes with a pinky tray. So I'm, I'm pretty good on that. This you can replace, which I will be doing. is There's a fatter button one. And uh, so we'll get to that. I'm going to go look in the um, this little box that we got here. I don't know what's in here. Um, sounds like all this stuff. So... Other than this thing, I think this is the, uh, oh wow, that's cool, look at that. Oh, you can't even see it. Oh, oh, there it is. It's like an indentation of the mouse. That's really cool. That That is a cool um, feature. We probably did that just so the mouse can sit in it. It looks kind of bigger, but that's really cool. All right, I'm not going to open that yet. So other than that box thing, you get the, um, the quick start guide. Ooh, yay, I have stickers. I needed more stickers. I really did, and I really like them. And that is the quick start guide menu book thing. I'm not going to open that. You guys probably can, you know, know that yourself. Anything else back here? Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, well, that works. So if you remember this part when I first opened the box, um, this, this was in there, so... So they didn't, uh, they didn't give you like it, well, maybe. We'll figure that out for a sec. I'm, don't worry about my rambling. There's nothing else in here. Matt Cash, that is possibly the coolest, like, unboxing of anything I've done. Like, usually it's just like a box, you open it, woohoo, there it is. This has like all these little compartments and stuff. I think that, that, that really goes good with the, um, with the nature of your product, that you, it, because you're you're always modular and customizable, so um, that's pretty cool. 
All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to open this thing. I don't think there's any... Well, maybe there is. Now, this is cool. I wasn't expecting this to come with it. So let's see what this is. So what's the... Well, if I open it all the way... Ah! Oh, all right, so I guess this come, th th This is a little box for your Rat Pro X to sit in. No. Yes. No. <laughs> okay, you guys are probably going to laugh because I have no idea how to... Maybe, maybe this thing comes out. Let's see. Oh! No, no. That has to stay in. Okay, so it probably is is for oh okay, so it, it sits in, it's like a carrying case, and there's this little cool um, thing where the cord goes, and it actually goes in the bottom of it, so you can put the cord in there. You see, and it goes inside. Uh, now that's cool. <clears throat> I thought that that's a that's a that is a cool feature. It sits right in there. And as you can see, everybody, oh god, as you can see, there's a little bit of room on this sup. Uh, there is a little bit of room on um, on this side here. And that is probably for the pinky tray. So I'm really, that's why I buy, that's why I even got this, the MMO7, because of the pinky tray. I don't like pinky drag at all. So that's really cool. Let's get it out. Okay, so when you pull this out of there, you're going to notice your feet are stuck in it. So you're going to want to make sure that you um, get your feet out. And I'm going to use these because these are cool. So that's cool. You get a, a cool Mad Cat's carrying case with it. In case you want to go to like a LAN or something like that. Uh, Alright, so we're going to get on to the next stuff. Now I hope that Mad Cat's isn't getting offended by what I'm saying. I'm doing the best I can with the very first... Um, Unboxing of this. This is a really cool mouse. I lo I love it already, and I haven't even used it yet. It's really light. I'm used to heavier mice. Now the thing about this thing, I don't even know how to get this off. Uh, I'm gonna break it. When there's no, oh, you kind of just pull it, I guess. Okay. So instead of having that little thing on the back that you kind of pr push in and you, you adjust, you just kind of pull it off. And that's cool, and it just goes right back on. So I'm not going to use this one. Maybe I will. We'll see. So anyway, that's the butt, and uh, we'll get to that. Okay, so in this in this case, I got a little um, cool little brush thing, and there it is, the tool. Um, now this tool... Just to um, let you guys know, we're gonna we're, we're gonna go here. For those of you with the older rat mice, you may say, "Well, I already have a tool." Uh, I'm going to show you the differences here. And if you can see this, so, wow, <laughs> this is the new one, and this is the old one. You can tell that uh, the older one is a little bit fatter than the new one. Now I'm going to try to use the new one on on something on here and I don't think it'll work. If it does, that's cool. Which, no, nope, it doesn't. So uh, the older rat um, feature, the older rat um, tool for the rat mice is um, proprietary with the old rats. So the new rat requires a new tool which is the same deal which is this, and it comes in with it, so you don't have to worry about ordering one. So understand that if you have an old one and you lose um, the new one, your old one won't work with um, the Rat Pro X. You have to get the new, and this is a smaller tool, tool anyway. Okay, so, so we're going to put that, I guess, right there. You know, probably right there. And so, okay, and I know I'm rambling, but so I remember Phillips thing comes in its own little box, which I'm going to keep. I kind of toss it over there, but... Alright, so the tool comes there, and you get this cool little brush thing. I saw this on CES. I was actually thinking it was a joke, but yeah, you get a little cool little brush to brush it off or whatever. Now, there's a coating on this mouse. I forgot the name. 
Big Boy Very said it much better than I did, and it's supposed to keep your hand from sweating, and it's supposed to draw moisture away from um, the, the mouse, I guess. And uh, so, okay. Now here is one thing that I'm, I, 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 I kind of am kind of sad, and it's not, it, it, it's, it's more of a nitpicky type thing. Now when I bought my M07, I got this little hard plastic, kind of like this thing, um, case, and um, when you open it up, it tells you where, what all the parts were and everything else, and, uh, and you could store your parts like if you had it if if you had your stuff you could you could store it somewhere and um and I still have my part case for my uh Strike 7 which I gave to my friend for free and my MMO 7. So this is what you get in the Rat Pro X. And this this is kind of an odd thing. You get this thing. It has all your parts here which is fine, but it's not it's not going to keep them from getting dirty like if you Say, oh, I have them, and I may want to change them later. So you put them away. You come back; they're all going to be like dusty, and you're going to have to dust them off. So there's the parts. We're going to go with the scroll wheel first. Now, I'm not going to rip this thing, but I'm not. I'm not, I'm not understanding how to take this stuff out. Okay, so absolutely, there's no way to get this off. It looks like there's three parts. Okay, here we go. So this is an actual metal um, for the uh, for the scroll wheel, and then um, and there's a a rubber one, and it has like these little notches on it. You can see like a tire, um, and that's what that's what it. And then the third one comes on the on the mouse. You get your um, Teflon feet, which I will not be using probably. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll test them out probably, but uh, PTFE low friction feet. I want the no friction. These will, from what I understand when I researched a good two hours of it, these will eventually, eventually wear out, whereas ceramic feet won't. It's like ceramic knives. They, generally speaking, they generally don't get dull. They, 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 they could, but they generally don't. It's the same thing. Things you got these cool feet comes um, mag magnetized. Let's get those out there for you guys. All right, so there's another one, the other part of it, and so we're gonna go with the here's the buttons. Now this is now this is an interesting concept. I never, uh oh, maybe they don't work because okay. Now when you first get these out, they're not really gonna do anything. They're gonna feel like they're broke. I, I I hope to God they're not. Um, the 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 top ones. This one kind of feels broken. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I guess uh, if it is, that's gonna it's gonna suck. I mean, I didn't take it out any differently than I took it out anything else. And this this yellow one won't even press in, but uh, okay. I see. Yeah, we'll we'll go and see how it works um, when I get this plugged in. But I I I, I want to try it, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, now we're coming to the other things, these go on the other side. Now, Madcast, these are kind of hard to get out, so um, hopefully we'll do that. Now, here's the pinky tray, which I will be using. Uh, it's a little bit, it's actually a lot smaller. Hold on. It's, it's around the same size as this, and I'm going to show you the difference from the MMO7's pinky tray. Here's the pinky tray. It kind of is straight and then it goes up and here's the pinky tray for the MMO7 it doesn't have that that up curvature on it and that's okay I I'm just showing you the differences that's all and I'm doing that because I'm I'm I, I like doing that stuff so that's the pinky tray that it will be using 
And here is the another patent from um, Mad Cats. If I can ever get this one out of here. These are kind of hard to get out, Mad Cats. I will say that. Because they're really stuck in, but that's okay. Um, this is the um, the liftoff. Uh, what the heck did Big Boy Very say? It's the uh, Pinky Ledge. That's right. So there's Pinky Tray, and then you have the Pinky Ledge. And as you're playing with your mouse, you can you can you can you can use your pinky for for lift off. I know some people um, like to do that with their mouse. I only do it in case I am going playing really bad, and then my hand goes kind of off my mouse pad a little bit, and I have to bring it up. But I'm I'm not probably going to use this feature. I'll test it out. Um, but I, I I probably won't because uh, I I love my pinky rest. That is probably the best invention for any mouse that you can. Um, that you can think of. So we're going to put that there. And I'm going to do an aerial view here in a minute of what comes in the mouse for you guys. And so let's see. We have two different butts in here. Now, okay, that was easy. Okay, so that was easy, easy to get out. So here's a, a regular matte type finish. Kind of, it's like it look, feels like the same product here. And uh, here's another butt. Now this one, I, this one I was curious about when I saw it. Uh, it has a so that's it. That's okay. Okay, that, and this is the last part. Part it's a butt it, 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 of the mouse. Uh, it kind of has like a it's a see through like type thing. Um, so I'm gonna get it all arranged for you here, just to show you what the what what should be in your box and what comes with the mouse. And I'm not gonna take the sensor out. Well, maybe I will. Uh, I probably will. So we'll, we'll we'll get that out. I know you probably saw this at CES, but you know, just for just just to let you guys know what um, you know what what comes with this. This is the one that come. This, this is the butt that comes on the on the on the mouse. Um, and then uh, this is the one end. Actually, I'm gonna unscrew it for you guys just to show you. Put the, the tool in there and. Unscrew is really easy. My uh, MMO7 doesn't unscrew very easy. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna get that done for you guys. There's there's a there's a lot of parts, and I'm sorry this video is probably taking a, a long time, but um, I'm just trying to get it done. This is 32 minutes in. Whew, this is a long video. I'm sorry, you guys, but I'm just really excited. And I want you guys to get the whole picture of it, you know, of the unboxing. Now, this one, this thing. Okay, so if as you can see, this is the buttons that came on the mouse, and this is the buttons that I'm going to be replacing. Um, okay, they, the 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 little screw doesn't come out on these. So if you unscrew, you're like, ah, it won't come out. Don't try to force it. There's already a screw in this one. So we're going to get that going. Go on. I'm doing the video. And um, all right, so I got everything broken down here for you guys. That that comes. Oh no, I don't. All right. I hope this is easy to get off. I don't want to break this to me. Um. Okay. Well, that was easy. So I got it off the mouse. It was pretty easy to get off. There's the scroll wheel without anything. Um, and that's the other, this is actual metal, so here we go. I will show you guys what the mouse looks like broken down. And, um, and show you what comes with it. This is a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Oh, and I need to put this in there, too. Alright. So, it's going to be, the feet are going to be on, um, next to each other. The tray, the, the one side with the pinky tray is going to be in the middle the feet are going to be on the left side. My MMO7 is going to be next to all that stuff. And then it's going to be the buttons that come on the other side of it, kind of low. And then the butts of it are going to be at the bottom. So here we go. Just to, just to be cool, show it to you. Um, that's everything that comes with it. Here's the three butts. There's the, the buttons that come with it. These are the buttons that came with the that were on the mouse to begin with. And here's the buttons that are that are going to go on when I do it. These are kind of fatter and stuff and, and kind of a more protruding. Uh, your tool that comes in a little bag with your little brush. Your three, um, that's a cool feature. Three scroll wheel things. This is kind of like a tire type thing with big fat things in it. This is more of a, 
spikier type one. I was expecting more spikes on that, but that's cool. And here's your rubber. These are the three, these are the three um, right side trays, including a pinky tray. I know you didn't say that, but this is a pinky tray, everybody. I will be using that 100% extensively. And there's your two different feet. And then here is what the mouse looks like, broken down. And um, that's okay. All right, so I'm going to assemble this thing now, and it shouldn't take me very long, to my preference on what I think I'm going to like. And I think that you guys are going to be, oh, that's cool, whatever. And I'm trying to figure out, so there's the buttons. Oh my gosh, why is it turned? So there's the buttons, the two different buttons. Um, there it goes. And... Um, so this one's more flat, and this one, as you can see, is more out. So I'm going to put this one on for now for you guys. So I'm going to put that on here, so you kind of just... To... And you're working with buttons here, so you're going to every... you're gonna, gonna get everything lined up correctly. So I got everything... Well, I had it lined up correctly. Dang. I don't know why I'm trying to do this off the camera for you guys. All right, so we got to... Yeah, you know, we have it on there. And uh, let's screw this puppy in and see what happens. I was afraid that maybe this these buttons... Alright, you don't need to screw it in very much. Yep, buttons work. Yeah. Yeah, the button's, the button's going to feel like they're broke um, when you take it out. And there's what it looks like. Kind of, you know how it sees kind of out there now? So it's kind of out there instead of just kind of in. It's kind of out there now, so that's cool. So... Let's do the scroll wheel, um, and I'll get into that. Do not over tighten. So understand that if you're going to, you can adjust the scroll wheel. Right now it's clicks and very, very click, click, click. Don't over tighten it. Okay, if you over tighten it, you'll probably strip the um, thing in there, and then it'll just constantly roll, and it won't be good. So I. I'm going to put, I think this is the one that came on it. That's kind of fat though, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep the original one on here because I, I like it. So you just kind of slide it on there. Um, and it should go on fairly easy because it came off easy. I was afraid that it was like, like when you use it, it was going to like come off. And uh, I don't see that happening. Again, I don't want to break it, but uh, I'm making sure it goes on kind of. Okay, well, this isn't going on that good, but it's all right. It's all right. We'll get it. I'll get it on there soon. So the arm is the arm again is is plastic. So understand that it's kind of you have to kind of. Okay, all right. So there's these little metal. I want to call this a. Um, you're not gonna. No, that's cool. I want to call this a spring. Okay, you see that little metal wire in the front kind of right let me see if I can get it up there right here on this side of it that little silvery part I'm trying to get it to focus for you there it is that silver part in the middle of the black that is a spring you want to get this over the spring, over all the parts of it, which is kind of hard to do. I think I got it. I got it. All right. So it's all over the whole spring. You want to make sure it's all over. You know, you're not seeing anything. And so you have it on there. You got to get it over that spring. And when it's on the spring, it's cool. Now you just, I'm going to see about tightening it and untightening it. So let's kind of untighten it and see what happens. I'm, un I'm untightening. Oops. I dropped this two tool. So I, I untightened it and there's and there's no clicks anymore at all. So let's see how far it can go before it or righty tighty lefty loosey jam. I got it all the way, I think. Yeah, I got it all the way. So I got it all untightened. Now I'm going to tighten it. Kind of kind of awkward. Now you don't again you don't want to over tighten it. Right? You don't want to over tighten it. If you do, you're gonna so just like that, I guess I would say, yeah. 
So that's really clicky. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, it's really each click. So I'm gonna untighten just a little bit, and that works. That's this is actually stiffer than my M07 um, right now because that's how I have it, and that's okay. I don't care. So we got that going. Now you just press it down, and it's it's ready to roll. It's rolling really cool. And whenever you want to untighten it, now I can already feel that I like this. I really do. I think it's cool. Now some of you may say, oh, you're holding it wrong. This is how I've always held my, a mouse. Left, index finger, middle finger, and then this finger kind of holds on, and this would be my pinky tray. And that's how I hold it. don't know how that works. I don't think I'm a claw grip or anything. But So now we're going to install my favorite thing that I've ever seen. Now the MMO7 has three holes here. There's just two and then the screw screw hole. Now this is probably be the only screw that will come off on this mouse when you are assembling it. So make sure you don't lose it. So I'm gonna put that in there. And it's kind of easy to see. There's you just put it in there. And then you put the screw in. I'm not I'm not a I'm a mechanical wizard, okay? All right, so you just screw that in. And relatively easy, it really is. And um, all right, so yeah, that works. I like that. I liked it a lot. It's really cool. Um, different than the other pinky tray, but uh, good. It, it it works. It does its thing. And I can still use my left and right click. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a demonstration of how I hold it later in a minute. So, okay, now is the butts, and this is the butt that comes with it, and that's kind of, wow, what happened? Why is it so weird? Mm. Whenever this thing decides to focus itself, there it goes. So this is the butt that came with it, the, the lime green and then the black, and that was a little bit, uh, it looked, it felt too high for me. So we're going to go with, um, oops, which, one want, which one do you think? We're going to go with this one, just because it looks different. And we'll see how that looks. So, again, there's no little latch on it. It has um, indentations in it, like that. And you just slide it on. And that was pretty relatively self-explanatory. Um, self-explanatory. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I can. I can see. I can see. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Now that's what my mouse looks like. Now. Um. Very, very gloss, glossy, shiny. Uh, I, at least that mouse, I mean, I can hear the click. Now, my my MMO7, when I do the left and right click, I don't really... I'm not really hearing it like I do with my MMO7, but I, I can feel it clicking, so... All right. Hey, stop it. All right. Sorry, everybody. That's my kids. So that's what, everything that comes with it. Um, that's what the mouse looks like. I'm, I'm going to try the other button real quick on this mouse just to see what it feels like and stuff. So we'll just put that on there. Self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. It doesn't be that hard. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. So it, it, on the butt, it, it kind of yeah, it won't stay that way. Oh, it does. So it has these little notches you can like push, pull up on, have it stay. Um, I think I guess I'm doing it wrong. I guess I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> kind of funky. Um, all in all, it's solid. It is really light, really light. I will say that it is really light. The um, chassis um, is made out of uh, magnesium alloy. I think they said it was, which is cool. So 
Now I'm going to do a, I'm going to put all the parts, oh fudge, I forgot to put my feet on. Don't forget your feet or you won't be able to game at all. Be sure you put them on right. So the pink tray um, has a Teflon, um, or whatever that stuff's called, on, on it. And you're going to have your ceramics. So it, 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 I don't think it's going to have any problem. These but this button though doesn't have anything on it. If you look, if you can see, nothing on this one. I I don't think I I don't think that's anything. But that's okay. All right. So again, I'm gonna try these um, feet on here. I think I put these on wrong. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Hmm. Sorry guys, excuse my new noobishness. I'm just making sure I put these on right. Yeah, I got I got them on right. So the big fat part can only go on one way, just like that. And then you know the big fat part can only go on one way, like that. And there it is. There it is. So I'm going to put all these back. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with the cool carrying case at the moment, but. Uh, I had to suggest in case you lose, um, you lose like a, um, you know, like a, a part or something, you keep these in order to um, make it to where you have the part that, the parts that you need. I. Yeah. The only thing I wish is that they would like identify which part is going where because I'm trying to figure out where these go and I can't figure it's like a jigsaw puzzle right now and I don't know where they where they go I'm trying to figure it out and I can't figure it out That's kind of, you you guys will get the hang of this you you will I I don't see any reason on why you you, you won't be able to do it. Um, Okay, well, I'll worry about that in a minute. Let's get the feet back in where they go. A mad cat is probably laughing at me. Oh, there we go. No, no. All right, so I don't want to spend an extra hour trying to get these in there. Okay, that one goes. That one goes there. So it's going to be kind of like a cool. You got like a cool puzzle thing to do while you're putting all your stuff away. Um, and I'm gonna. I'm actually going to put these. Put this on there so you guys can see how they go in the little holder, my bob. All right, I'm gonna do this as fast as possible so you guys can see that. All right. Oh, there we go. Nope, the rubber one goes in there. So the rubber one, well, you'll see in a minute. All right, so we have this thing goes aha right there, and then this thing is the is the one with the other way. Okay, so that's the buttons. So this one goes. Mm, I almost had it. Okay, there we go. And then this is the okay, this is the button. So, all right. So, as you get these in properly, which I hope I did. I don't think I did, but well, that's the only way they could go. This thing can't fit in here. <sighs> you guys are probably watching this laughing. Okay, here we go. All right. So that's how it goes. You have your buttons. Um, you have your feet. The um, the little hole here is for the rubber one, and then this is for the bigger holes for the metal ones. So you have your buttons in here. They, this one, the, this these are the not the uh, these are the original buttons that came with it. So they, yeah, they all stay. They're they're cool. So now let now we're gonna do a uh, quick comparison feel of what the mouse will um, 
will look like. I'm actually going to replace it with uh, that green one because, I don't know, I have the MMO7 with the highest butt on it and it actually works really well. So I'm seeing if this will, now that I've changed everything around it, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's that's my feel right there. That's it right there. So, here we go. Yeah. There they are. MMO7 uh, Rat Pro X. And this is exactly the feel that I'm getting from this. Exactly. Just about. Um, now, the other thing I've noticed is this has a um, scroll wheel on the side. And this does not. This has an adjustable uh, an adjuster to go up and down on the buttons. This does not. This has a weight management system. And this does not. For those of you who are winning, this does not have the analog strafe, which is this. It, it actually strafes. It actually does strafe over. Okay, it, it does work. Um, the DPI up, and there's no DPI down. There's a DPI up on this one, no DPI down, just up. This has the um, action lock buttons, or these are, these can be customized. Uh, this does not have them, but I don't need them. Um, so features that this doesn't, that this has, that this doesn't. This obviously does not have the um, replaceable um, uh, module sensor. This obviously does. That's what it looks like with the module sensor in. Uh, they both have replaceable butts. They both have replaceable um, sides, which are the pinky trays. As you can see, there's a little bit different pinky tray. This one kind of goes up. This one's there. And this one does. This one has a replaceable buttons here. This one does not. Uh, it has two side buttons, one middle button, a button here. Two buttons here, and this has three on the side. I don't, I don't, I will not use more than this. I will not use more than this many buttons for playing my MMO because I have a keyboard to do that for me. Um, it's going to be kind of odd to feel this without this little indent here, but I can get used to it. This mouse is a lot lighter than the MMO 7. And yeah, so that's the unboxing. I'm sorry this is so long. I just really, really wanted to give you guys a heads up on what it looks like, the colors. I like this butt, so I'm going to keep this one. This is the same type of butt as this. Um, this has a little man on it. This does not. This has some, uh, like, a cool thing on there. So, and this is shiny here. This is not its own button. There's nothing here on the side like there is on the MMO7. No profile button. That's on the bottom, as I said, this little green button here. So no profile button like this. And that's about it, guys. Uh, what I don't know. <clears throat> My first thoughts is that the mouse is exceptional. I can't say um, that there's anything negative about it. The cable... Checking the cables. The, MMO, the Rat Pro X cable is actually a little bit thicker from when I feel it, when I feel it compared to the M7. So this is a little bit thicker. And um, the analog strafe system seems like an interesting tool. Um, I will more than likely try to use it. You can adjust the scroll wheel, adjustable with the uh, little tool which is right there. The little red thing is what you put the tool in, twist it left or right, but don't over tighten that. It says it on the, it says it on the, on the scroll wheel, do not over, over tighten. So, and it just goes down. All in all, this is a really good customized mouse for people who don't want a mouse with um, all the extra buttons and want um, a mouse that is light and able to be utilized and, and and just good overall. Now, when you watch this video, I have not tested the mouse. I have not plugged it in my computer. I have not done anything with it. This is the first time I've unboxed it. So, if anyone has any questions, concerns, uh, you know, 
I, I, I hope you guys like my videos. I hope you like this one. And um, I hope that I didn't ramble too much. I just really wanted to let you guys in on on, on everything. And uh, so don't forget these. These are going to go in the cool Mad Cats box thing. Um, only thing I can see improving on is the way that you uh, you guys um, hold your your parts. Uh, I think that you guys should bring back the little metal tin that 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 shows you on the lid which each part is and what where they go. But that's all right. It's kind of like a puzzle again, getting these in. But that's not a problem. It's really cool. I'm. I'm amazed. So, if anybody has any questions, comments, concerns, like the video if you do, and I hope you do. I hope this was very informative for those who uh, want to wrap Pro X and wants to know what's so special about it. And I will keep you updated. I'm going to game with this tonight, and uh, after I've been gaming, I will make another video, probably tonight, so be, be wary of that, about how I did... The first game I'm going to play is probably League of Legends, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, you have a wonderful evening, and I'll let you know. Thank you.